Hello. I'm uh, here with Adam Lachlan. <laughs> Adam, are we on? <laughs> yeah. Are we on yet? Are we on, my eye? Hey, everybody. Welcome to another episode of Word Up. And thank you so much to all our B-Patreonies, um, our, our fucklers, who have signed up so far. What are they called? Fucklers. The fucklers? Nice. Because mm-hmm. it's word, worders. Okay. Are we fucklers? How the fuck, how the fuck? And I'd be fuck... If you're doing the Irish, it'd be fuckladory. Fuckladory? What's the story in fuckladory? <laughs> Wouldn't you like to know? <laughs> if you would like to know, subscribe to our Patreon. It's a pay what you feel, so we'll have it set to a pound. And if you fancy giving us a wee bit more, if you can, you can just go on, tap that up there. Yeah. But if you can't, that's fair enough. Thank you for giving us a pound. Yeah, Happy post now. Go on, subscribe. Go on. Go on. But here, this is, you've probably met Adam Lachlan before. Yeah, I've been on before. I met am I, am I the first, second time on, or how many, I've how many had... people have been on, been on twice? Oh, well, yeah, that's a personal question, then. <laughs> 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 yeah, 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 yeah. Um, yeah, you don't have to sign your name on the wall today. I don't have to sign my name on the wall. No, I can understand, what was it, when you, when you posted up the video last time, you spelled my name L-O-U-G-H-L-I-N. No, it's L-A. that's probably my fault. Yeah, it was, uh, yeah, exactly. Sean, Sean come on. Like, or Tiernan. Tiernan film. Yeah. Oh, it was Tiernan. I'm going to put it on Tiernan. Lark, uh, L-O-U-G-H is the, is the alternative spelling I use when I don't want people looking up, like, my content online. Oh, really? It's what, yeah. Whenever he's But I would have a... wanted people to look up the last podcast. Right, well, there you go. <coughs> put that, that was Tiernan because Sean was on his honeymoon getting his jam roll. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Nice, nice. He was. He went to America. Yeah, America. a lovely time. Yeah. Back in June. This year's planning. I know it really is planning. Mm. I'm really excited. We are filming on Sunday um, for this BBC short. Yeah, I know. It sounds it exciting. Written. Sounds good, crack. Yeah, it's going to be good. What's it's it's gonna t- gonna you were telling good me about it there on the way up. What, what's, what's it called? What's the title? So you're going to see spitting out that Rebel? Are you just spitting out a Rebel there? It's a Toffee Rebel. It's the Toffee Rebel. The Toffee ones are nice, though. I've paid too much for my white felons to risk eating the Toffee Rebel. Oh, you see, um, the orange ones. I like the, I like the coffee oh, ones. They're my the favourite. Are, no, the coffee ones are banging. They are banging. No, no it's banging as rotten. Oh, okay, let's discuss. In Derry, we would say if something was banging, it's awful, we don't like it. Really? What as in, like, it's banging, like, it's smelling, it's banging. Oh, it's, man, that's whopping. Remember, like, uh, what was it, um, rotten.com? Yeah. We used, to, we, used to, we used to say some of them was rotten, and then you would say, um, oh, everybody getting all the slabbers from me sucking the sweet, and then we would say, oh, that's rotten.com. And then it turned into whopping, I think. And then it was like, oh man, that's fucking whopping. Mm. And then it turned into banging, and then banging. But that's, I've had that before where I've said, oh man, that's banging. And people go, do you really like that? I'm like, no, I hate it. <laughs> 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 the complete opposite. Imagine yeah. you were like drinking somebody's, um, I brewed this beer myself. That's banging. Really? You like it? No, that's fucking disgusting. Uh, you're in bed with somebody and they're like, how was that? And you're like, oh, it was fucking banging. <laughs> <laughs> it was it indeed. <laughs> it sounds better as... Sound and shit. It does. It makes more yeah. sense if it's used negatively. Like humming. Another humming. Humming. But I imagine humming is actually... I love that. Like, mm. whenever we say something's humming, it means, like, something's stinking. Yes, yeah, dirty. Disgusting. It's so d- dirty. It's, h- it's literally humming. humming. But I think that must come from, like, flies hum around things when they're dirty. Bow mm. heaping. What is it? Bow heaping. Bow heaping. Bow heaping. Leaping. Leaping. I, I, do you know what leaping? my one is that I say, and I'm quite proud of this one? When something's stinking, I say... Mm. That's fucking Abraham Lincoln. <laughs> Abraham Lincoln. Let me see. What, Abraham Lincoln stinking. Yeah. Nice. Mm-hmm. It's right, it's like, not Cockney slang. It's Belfastard slang. Let's do this. Abraham Lincoln. Let's have a word off for things that mean stinking, disgusting. Well, I've already went through all my like rotten dot com banging or noisome, reeking, reeking. I suppose so, reeking. So disgusting that Bogging. it's offensive. Hmm? Bogging, bogging, bogging. Yeah, bogging. I, I would use bogging a lot. I'm mean, fucking bogging. Hey. Yeah. It's a man these fucking trousers are bogging. Hey? I say minging as well. Like or, minging, yeah. I've actually gotten to the stage now where when I say something to my kids, you know whenever you're aware that your language is bait out, you know, like your your slang, kids don't say certain things anymore. Like I'll go, look at that, that's humdigging. And they'll know what I mean, but they'll be like, what are you talking about, Molly? Do you know what I mean? I'm trying to, I should actually be trying to improve. My yeah, kids actually but, have really good <coughs> yeah, but kids are, all, kids are all BRB and fucking memes and yeah. TikToks and stands and what's the other ones that they have? My six-year-old says things like, look at this, it's really quite extraordinary. And I'm like, so it is. <laughs> I don't know where they get fucking yes. They go like, no cap. Yeah. No. Oh, Jesus. I don't even understand. And that's when you start what to What does that mean? Old. Explain that to, to me. Old. Think cap means lie. 
Mm-hmm. So when people say no cap, they're saying like serious. I'm that's what that means. Yeah, cap means lie. Yeah. What? Where does that come from? I'm intrigued. No idea. Like no, no bullshit. Like no, no cap. Yeah. Jesus no Christ! Like, I, I like I like to try and imagine I can I keep up with the lingo that the kids are doing with these days. But yeah. never, like, I only figured out one out. No cap is weird. I've had to go. You know, the first time you ever googled slang, and you're like, okay, this is what it like. S M H shaking my head. The way like, I'm S M H shaking my head, or S M D H. I was like, what is it? Shaking my damn head. <laughs> it's kind of it's more American. Americans use it, but I think it's very good. Like S M H. my whole. <laughs> I had a I having think, a wee dance shaking I their hole. A friend of mine had and then the bottom of um at the end of a text message, uh oh why oh on your own. And it was like but instead oh, why, oh, oh, why, oh, oh, oh. and we looked it up and it was like ah it means on your own and he was like, Why don't you just fucking type on your own? <laughs> yeah. And I was just like, Okay, it was weird. Uh, that is strange. The other <clears throat> I don't know whether I've said this on the show or whether it was on another show, but my sister used to think um FML was fuck me like <laughs> I would have fucked my life. Did you? Did you fuck, fuck me like? like <laughs> I go for it. Fuck me like. That is so I still die. But I'm dying. It still but works in context. Though. It's amazing. Yeah. So like anytime somebody, somebody was saying it to her, it worked. And when she said the back, it still worked. Yeah. It's just going like, fuck me like. <laughs> yeah, like fuck me like. It does yeah. actually work because whenever you say FML, like fuck my life, it could mm. actually be. Yeah, it's the same as FFS. Fuck me, like. That came like but imagine that, that's such a waste. Yeah, they put yeah. the like on the end and just think it needs to be in there. It could have just been FM. <laughs> if that was the fuck case, me. fuck me fuck like. Me, hey. <laughs> <laughs> More imagination went in to, to making up a new what that could mean than actually just Googling it. That's absolutely <laughs> big I, I have that. much respect for your sister. I love that. I really do. Do you want to hear the word of the week? And we'll get it. I'm trying to... Uh, burp it away. Burp I need the to up, hey? try and kind of get the word of the week in a bit I've earlier. been keeping it on my periphery, so I have, I'm not spoiling it for myself. But yeah, because one of these words I want of the us week. to try and use the word of the week throughout. I want you to try and use it in a sentence at least once. Adro- throughout. It. Adro- it. Adroit. Adroit. Mm-hmm. Adro- it. Adro- it. Adroit. 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 As in like whenever you haven't got the right for a while. You're going for a droid. You're going for a droid. Like, going for a well, fucking bad droid these days, lads. Uh, yeah, that's very good, <laughs> yeah. Adam. That it's is like very a, good. A ro- you're talking about a robot, like a droid. A, a droid. droid. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I'm Scottish, lads, talking about Star Wars. Well, he was fucking banging around the desert with a droid. <laughs> 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 yes, very good. So, what is a droid here? What is it? A droid is clever or resourceful. So, it's having or showing skill, cleverness, or resourcefulness in handling situations. So he was adroit at tax avoidance. That's a kind of negative example of it. Mm, I like it, but don't wear tax man. Yeah, yeah, we but need that. Is, huh? uh, but is the word like is it Latin? Is it come? Are you spinning another level? Is it? Like, I keep la- getting the toffee one. Is it Latin? Is it like? Is it got like a European? Is it a, what kind of word does it come from? Do you want to know is there something? The of it? one week that I didn't look up the etymology because that's the bloody word. The etymology. Of the yeah, word. I'm I, a fucking hard one for etymology. I'm fucking. On uh, Wikipedia, like I love etymology typically, but I'll give you the proper definition. So it's from French, I think. What do we say? You have to remind yep. me. I have uh, a word thing that I learned this week that I thought would be good crack when you you messaged me for the, this podcast. Yes, the origin is in French, and it is from French from adroit. <laughs> I'm assuming that's adroit. what we mean. According to right properly. Um. Right. So so it's one of those ones must be something to do with like uh, writing or uh, right right <laughs> do it right I write I write it down but uh, <laughs> I fucking read my handwriting I uh, like that because whenever I was thinking resourcefulness I need to stop eating but whatever I haven't eaten today so this is the ADHD thing I've not eaten all day and then binging on chocolate Um, do you ever do something to yourself and you go or you think of something and you go I'm a fucking genius like Necessity really is the mother Daily. of invention. Daily. I do that. You know, whenever, like, you go, this isn't going to work, like, you're absolutely fire tucked, something's not going to work, and you come up with something and you go, see if Thomas Edison hadn't already invented everything, I could be an inventor. Do you know what I mean? Like, the first time in your life that you ever use the inside of the toilet roll to, like, wipe your arse with because the toilet roll's run out. Yes, you feel like a pavo and that your life isn't worth living, but you also go. I was. Uh, about, where there's a will, there's a way. Yeah, about two months ago, I was in Bournemouth 
uh, a festival a mate of mine was uh, had me at. He was like a magician. And there was a portal uh, cabin, like Portaloo, mm. uh, that was out of the way, and nobody was going to it. And I had a full ball roll in it. It was clean. It was really nice. And I was like, every time I wanted to take a shine, I'd go to it. And then one day I went to take a shine, and there was no ball roll. And I did the whole ripping it up. Oh. And it, you make like a little cup, kind of thing. And you used to have to kind of scrape the poo, <laughs> kind of thing. And, then, and you have to kind of use one one rim, and then use that air, and then the other rim. So yeah, 100% know what you mean. You, you feel like you're like fucking going, this was what must cavemen must have been like when they fucking invented fire and shit. Yeah. yeah, fire and shit. They probably did just yeah, burn fire it. Fire and shit. It would have yeah. been a good. It would have been a good. Um, fire and shit. Fire, fire and shit. shit. Yeah. It'd be good fuel though. <laughs> that's my. That's gonna be my. Uh, my burn uh, that shit. <laughs> my, my book about Neanderthal man. So Adam Logan's Neanderthal man. Fire and shit. <laughs> <laughs> that's all it is that's all that is shit smeared shit smeared everywhere but yeah like do you know whenever I was younger I had a friend who um, was convinced that I was some sort of genius and then looking back on it I realised it's just because I had really fucking stupid ideas and convinced her that they were good for example she was washing her hair one night you know whenever you, women sometimes will lean over the back back then when nobody had showers and you would lean over the bath and like get mm. the tap on your hair. Or if you were really posh, you had one of those wee rubber showers that just went over the hot and cold and there was no in between. It was oh, yeah. roasting or times, fucking freezing. My mum would get me to do that. Like I'd be rinsing her hair out and stuff. Like I'd be rinsing dye. Yeah, hair, out like, of, the dye out of the hair. Then, those two big like rubber things that go on the both yeah, of the plugs. Yeah, yeah. and yeah. if they pop out, then just the hot ones in, you're fucking scalding uh, yeah, 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 yeah. the, the scalp of yourself. But so she was doing that one night <coughs> and she was like, oh my God, I have no conditioner. My life is over. Well, we're teenagers. What are we going to do? What am I going to do? Definitely I can't no. not condition my hair. And I was like, ping. What if you just use can, um, moisturizer? It's the same thing. It's just conditioner for your skin. So use it on your hair. And I remember going to be like, you're a fucking genius. Like, how did you even think of that? And I was like, I don't know. It just came to me like brilliant and she did it and she was walking about like a fucking grease ball for days because she couldn't get it I was thinking that I'm like it's not going to rinse it's not designed to rinse out of hair no so yeah you're going to be walking around with like kind of like, greasy look up yeah, you know, so like, yeah it was kind of the Kim Kardashian look you know with that wet look only it wasn't mm. it wasn't fashionable and we just were like shit you know you started this story saying this was a genius idea and then it backfired yeah the exactly person. but back then I thought I was being particularly adroit do you know what I mean? It's really sorry. I, yeah. I once had an adroit moment similar to yours Go where on. a friend of mine was back in the days whenever like we were uh, we were on the back of a fucking school smoking fags and stuff like my mum and dad didn't know we were smoked. And I said to a mate of mine, I said, this is the fucking best plan ever. What you do is you go upstairs in the bathroom, right? You go to your mum, I'm going to have a shower. What you do is you turn the shower and wait for the whole room to fill up with fucking steam. Then you hang out the window and you blast a fag, Aye. flick the fag away, then have your shower. And by the time you finish your shower, the steam and all the smell of like fucking shampoo and stuff <laughs> got rid of the smell of smoke. Yeah. He goes, no worries. So he's hanging out his fucking window, smoking a fag, <laughs> whole fucking room filled up with steam. Boom, 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 man knocks on the door. I was like, oh, what the fuck? Opens the door. He'd had the shower on so long and it was leaking down into the, oh, into the kitchen. Shit. When like, his mum had guests over and he was like, what the fuck? And ran up, <laughs> caught him fucking smoking and all this kind of stuff. <laughs> and I was like, it was an adroit moment, but unfortunately, it was just the elements were For against you. Then. Yeah, literally. The, yeah, the yeah. Old water was leaking. You have to be sure leaking. that your pipes aren't faulty. That is the type of shit that would happen to me, though. Do you know when if you just don't? have any luck. I remember the first time I ever tried to smoke, I was walking out of the alley in Lenadoon. I don't know why I decided to leave the alley. I think I was feeling a bit brave. Do you remember whenever somebody would be standing there and it was their first time having a smoke, you would wait for them to take a draw because people would pretend and wouldn't really inhale, but you would wait for them to take a draw and you would say, is that your mummy over there? And they would go, <coughs> <coughs> That's so lousy. Like, yeah. So it's just trying try to enjoy smoking 10 cigarettes in half an hour. Yeah, but <laughs> I, I remember really getting, panic. like, having a wee smoke <coughs> and I was like, I think I might have been trying to prove a point. Like, I'm not afraid. I don't have to stand yeah. in an alley holding it like this. Mm. I'm going to walk out and I walked out of the alley and saw my ma and just like walked straight back in again. And she ran up the hill, even though she claims not to be able to run back then, even ran up the hill, trailed the fucking head of me. as hey, fuck, I'm smoking. Got grounded. Not a very adroit moment. Not, not very adroit at the whole right. smoking inconspicuously game. Do you know what I mean? Mm. I think uh, I'm having a hard time with this adroit because it's like, it's, it's such a like, uh, it doesn't flow well in a sense, I think. Do you not? Unless it's at the very start. Like, adroit, I mean, like, adroit things or. 
Mm-hmm. If you're going like, oh, I was, I felt very adroit today. Do you know? Do stand, you know somebody who is particularly a adroit at a certain thing? Like a certain, like somebody who is adroit in the game of football. Or well, I would say like George is adroit in magic. Uh, George yeah. Firehorse, everybody check him out. Yes, George Firehorse, yeah, he can right. do. He's very adroit. How did he get into that? He's always been at it. Did you hear about the Irish magician? No. He couldn't pull a rabbit out of a hat, so he pulled a hair out of his own. <laughs> It's a dad joke, but I still absolutely That's so love ridiculous. Like, <laughs> it's hear about the, uh, the the magic tractor? I uh, went up a hill and turned into a field. <laughs> yes. <Yeah. laughs> it's, a, it's a point and you can pay anything you want for this, ladies and gentlemen. Yes. You know I mean? <laughs> Are you getting this for free yeah. anyway on the uh, YouTube? Um, not George, he's always been at it. Like, he is very adroit at it. Like From day one, he was just a magician. There's a really cool, there's a really cool thing in his, in his mum and dad's gap. Where it's his uh, brother has his graduation photo up on the wall, mm. and it's his brother in all the gowns and shit like that. And right next to it, it's George in all his clown outfit with a magic wand. No way, that's was, like, brilliant. He called around to like his brother's graduation, like, uh, but from a kids' show. Yeah. And then the photographer was like, "You fucking stand up, like this guy." <laughs> told you because he had a big wand that looked like a diploma, and it's him all done up in the clown stuff. <laughs> and I'm just, just like, God, that's that's a very adroit moment there. Like, yeah, I'm warming the adroit. I'm warming the adroit. You're warming too. I'm warming the adroit. Yeah. Yeah, I think that that's actually hilarious. Can you imagine his wee mummy and daddy? Yeah, we're very home, proud home, of you. Yeah. Your brother is a clown, <coughs> is a literal clown. <laughs> well, I suppose, I suppose, I suppose it's not like it's, I wouldn't say clown stuff, I would say magic outfit. Is right, magic okay. Stuff. George isn't really a clown as such. He doesn't, right. do, he doesn't do clowning, he's a magician. Really? Because whenever he's I think of George, I don't know, maybe it's because of the personality that he has. If you're watching this, Google George Firehorse right now, or Magic George, yeah. and then you'll see who he'd talk to. I do mean. think of him as a clown, though. No, I don't know why. No, it's interesting. Probably like, just that we sort of, that sort of... He's all balloon animals and stuff. I mean, it, it, it does do Hong Kong magic nose stuff and things like that. He's a very clown school, but I wouldn't say he's, uh, he's, not, he's not as athletic as a clown. He's you know, getting, getting, getting on in years, like. He's getting on in years. I keep, I keep saying, when I live with him, I keep saying, I like, you're not going to be able to do Magic George for very long. And he's like, I'm going to be able to do it for ages. I was like, all right, right. Why does he do but, physical comedy type thing? Well, that's the thing. He's, well, yeah, I'm not going to go into the list of fucking ills that George has, like, but with anybody, he's, he's not going to be able to leap around and run around and uh, entertain and spin plates for when he's 80, like, you know what I mean? Like, like we all are. Who says? <clears throat> you never know. I suppose, yeah. Because I used to joke about him, he'd be wheeled out on a chair and he'd sit there and be like, what's, what's the, what, what blue animal he wants? Come on, you have to come over here first. You know, like, for a blue animal? <coughs> yeah. Oh, no way. No but, way. Yeah. There was actually, I will, I will tell you this story. Um, I don't know whether or not it's going to end up having to be cut out. But um, it's not actually that bad. Uh, my husband, as you know, is um, part Nigerian. We were at this party and it was, the balloon artist was amazing. Like really, really talented. You could have told this kid anything. He made a big massive buzz light chair and all, you know. Mm. Like all these fucking unicorns for the kids to go about on, you know. And Kurt was like, make me something. <laughs> and he went, like what? And Kurt said, a hat. And he went, right, okay. And he went, anything in mind? And Kurt went, I've nothing in mind, just you do whatever you want, right? And uh, the guy made this hat and it was really cool, but it was basically like this (laughs) big bunch of bananas (laughs) with a monkey hanging from it. (laughs) <laughs> and put it on what, what was the, what was the, what was the what was the the race of the magician? He the, was white. The white guy. He was white kid. Uh, but I think it was completely Ooh. innocent. A dude. Somebody went, "Ah, just make me anything." And if not, if you had to make me anything, it's like right. And they made him a big banana. <laughs> I probably would have been all whoa. <laughs> he made him. <clears throat> well, I think a banana would be the easiest fucking blue yeah. to make. But you would be like, "Why have you made a banana?" There you go. <laughs> It's, or it makes, a, it makes like a gun or something like that. And he's like, what do you want about it? He get, well, that's it, Ireland. Yeah, but he's making, he, he's, he's making a bonnet. Yeah. A bonnet, a fruit bonnet. A big fruit Easter, bonnet or Easter something. Easter bonnet no. or something like that. Just a big bunch of... Jesus Christ. Bananas like. with a monkey. Oh, well, I suppose, yeah, the <laughs> with monkey. With a food scale monkey. <laughs> and it was... <laughs> with the when monkey. When did you get this balloon? Made in like 1750. <laughs> Jesus <laughs> Christ! Like. I can't actually breathe. So we were sitting in the morning, and Curtis no, isn't really? sensitive or anything like that. But he put it on his head. <laughs> we were just so tempted. So naturally, I did. I was like, "Mate, 
<laughs> are you fucking serious? And he went, what? And I went, and Curtis just went, oh, yeah, I'm the only black guy here and you made a fucking monkey with banana. And the kid's face went beetroot. He was like, no, 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 I didn't. No, I was, I do that one. I, I beat kids like that one, you know? And he was like, I'm only messing you. Like, I'm only joking you. Blah, blah, blah. And that was terrible, his accent. Yeah. But the kid was absolutely that's in the great, heart. That's in fact, that's I don't think we've yeah. been able, he'd be raging listening to yeah. this. He'd go, no, it fucking isn't. But I don't think that kid has ever done a balloon animal party since it. Like, or he's he's dropped a monkey from the hat if it's a, if it's a, he's dropped. a non-Caucasian person. I was like, yeah, yeah, yeah he's yeah. dropped that. Like, yeah. Jesus I just, Christ. It was a complete coincidence, but it was the way we just ripped it. Not a very adroit moment. Not, he was extremely adroit at balloon animal modelling. Exactly. He He was was adroit at uh, accidental racist balloon hats. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) Fucking hell, like. That's so weird. Uh, He's like really good at hiding his races. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah, yeah, the innocent look, like, I don't know what you mean. Like, I wonder if he's around at a a skinhead party telling that joke. Do you know what I mean? Well, going, Mm. here, wait a hear what I did. (laughs) (laughs) Fucking monkey on it. What, a BNP, is it? (laughs) Like, oh, no, what do you see? He's sitting there with fucking Jolene Bunting and they're laughing their balls off. Do you know what I mean? (laughs) But, uh, no, it was funny anyway. I actually really enjoyed it. But yes, he was extremely adroit. Are you adroit at anything? I'm adroit at uh, ukulele. Mm. I'm brilliant at ukulele. I I would probably say, and this is this is a very this is a huge boast. I would probably I've seen a lot of people in Northern Ireland play ukulele, and I would probably go so far as to say that I am the best ukulele player in Northern Ireland. I'm not fucking kidding. Like I'm <laughs> that fucking down. <laughs> You see, I know you got one over here, but it's not even in tune, it's though. Not it's not even in tune. This is one of those, yeah, it's like a yellow Sabrina. It's like, those, it's like one of those like little SpongeBob SquarePants ones. You can... oh, actually, oh, it's a wee decoration one. Nah, that's a wee better tune. See, that's a tune. Go get it. And... Give us a tune, Adam. This is one I was learning. It's a song by a guy called... Harry Roy, the top strings are the tune here. Yeah, it, it, that's how one stays. Like, like, There's one thing I'd like to pet. Every evening I get set. Stroke it any chance I get. My girl's pussy. <laughs> 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 so, ne- never dirty, always clean. It's the best I've ever seen. And giving thrills, it's never mean. My girl's pussy. <laughs> <laughs> when it's out, it's like a race. Runs me round at such a pace. Often finishes on my face. <laughs> my, my girl's pussy. <laughs> I could tell. Uh, There's something very like quaint sounding about it, isn't it? That's good. It? I could give you one of my own. I wrote a song. I wrote a ukulele song. Go. This is a song about pulling the bar yourself. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, this is a song about pulling the bar of yourself. Pulling the bar yourself, yeah. Right, go, go. It's a way to chin, like. Did it when I was young, I do it, not at a mold, I do it, I free will, and when I'm told it's the best thing you can do with yourself. And if you can't do it, I'll give you some help, oh, the naysayers, <laughs> I don't understand. Either lost the brains or both of the hands, if you're a pretty lady or a handsome man. Everyone can do it, oh, I know what you can, and then that's as far as it's gotten the song. I uh, love it, so what we need to but do uh, then? We need, I need to, I'll bring, uh, actually, I'll tell you what, you can call all that out, and I'll bring my own ukulele next time. Yes. I'll bring, I'll bring my banjo and then I'll be pr- He I'll said be at the top. Yeah. Was <clears throat> tuned properly, yeah. but a good and, then, and, and the best it, ukulele. And then it went right out of tune the whole of it. Yeah, should I, not be blaming us too. Oh yeah, no, no, yeah, no, hundred um, percent. Yeah, so and then and we're back. So if you just uh, went, why have you cut there? It's because I played a bit of ukulele. Oh no, we're not cutting the ukulele. Oh, we're, we're cutting, we're cutting the wee tuny bit. Okay, okay, okay. It took it only took Adam about. Five minutes to tune it. Five minutes to tune it. Yeah, yeah, but it was grand. It was grand. I actually really enjoyed that. Thank you. Very much. Indeed. Bring your ukulele in next time. You yeah, can... I should bring. My, so you have a banjo. I made. I made mine. Bought me a banjo from my fortieth, and I was like, "Fucking, it's so good." What's a banjo? So, banjo lele. It's a mixture of a oh, banjo. Oh, a banjo lele. Mixture of a banjo and a ukulele. It's fucking so good. Oh, is it? It's all a price. Brilliant. My it's friend great. has. It's a banjo guitar, so it's a guitar. It's a banjo oh, sound, that but would it's a be guitar. like a resonator, like a resonator guitar. Yeah, I don't know something. He's yeah. in, he's into all that bluegrass. Yeah, but there was, but that's the thing. There was me saying, there was me saying I was the best ukulele player in Northern Ireland, and I play 
the the fucking the, the equivalent of a fucking toy. There's <laughs> <laughs> ukulele player on the shit of ukulele. Yeah, <laughs> actually, yeah, that's a, that's a testimony. That should be your first album, the best ukulele player on, on the, the shit of ukulele. The ukulele, yeah. Bon ukulele just... sounds like something like. A wee guard from West Belfast would be called. No, that you would yeah. hear that. Banjo Lily. Or it sounds like something that you would. Banjo Lily. A wee banjo Lily. Come on, banjo Lily, your teeth really. Yeah, there's. Do you know what? There's a there's a Shakira in the West. There's a Beyonce in the West. Or is there definitely more than one. Like oh, there's a few. Like in Germany, there's have also a, a Shakira. Yeah. And when asked as Shakira. why Shakira, it was because they were named after Tupac Shakur. But Jesus she was a girl. Christ. Mm-hmm. Shakira. Jesus Christ. Yeah. I just thought that they'd spelled Shakira wrong, but no, it was, I assure you, Shakira. Because like, I was I was saying, like I was saying, in Germany, you're not allowed to call anybody Adolf. And really? Like, all that kind of, you're not allowed to call like, people Adolf or Hitler or stuff like that. They've like made a rule so there's certain names you can't name your people. I think really? we, we, need, we need to bring out in Northern Ireland and stop people called Shakira. What we need Shakira. to stop people doing here is like just. Putting a couple of consonants and a couple of vowels together, they're literally just playing, like, what are they called countdown. Countdown. Yeah. And then calling put, it an Irish name. They're putting a fat over it and they're going, "That means river." <laughs> they're going, "No, it doesn't." <laughs> just because you say that means river doesn't mean that's what it means. They just go. They, they'll literally. I'm just looking at the first word I see here, and it's audio. Right. And they'll just call their child audio McDonnell. Audio man. But it'll be a photo over the O. <laughs> yeah, but like, audio. And, then, and then they have a cheek to pronounce it like they'll go, yeah, it's it's pronounced autumn. And you're going, well, why oh, is Jesus it why is it Christ. audio? Because it's Irish. Because it's Irish. Don't you, don't do that. You know, like there there is a lot of that, isn't there? They're just like making up words now. Yeah. Like it's it's Irish. Have you, have like there's ones that you look at and you go, like I know that Irish language to outsiders doesn't necessarily with the consonants no, it, it, make it, sense. Like yeah. like M H makes a V and you mm-hmm. know, stuff like yeah. that. I but thought they know Irish. I know fuck all Irish and it does my head in. Do you not but know see, any at all? I don't know any at all. Because mm-hmm. I speak Irish, everybody comes to me like the code always goes to me, What's that name, Mer? Like my man on Facebook, no, I just had a wee baby, what bloody What's that name? And I go, I've never seen that name before in my life. Yeah. She was like, oh, she's not know it. And I go, no, because it's not a fucking name. <laughs> I've just made that up. Yeah. Jesus. I like the really... There's some really old Irish names that I love that aren't really... Like what? Like my friend's sisters. Shifra and... Shifra? Le- Shifra and Leodan. Oof, a good fucking mm-hmm. names, Leadan. Mm-hmm. Leadan's is a fucking strong name. Like, you probably should be able to have that name. Leadan. I always thought they were beautiful names, you know? And, like, I love Mewa and I like Blahing. Paddy's Wee Girl's called Blahing, isn't she? No. Uh, or Blanad. I love Blanad. Blanad? Mm-hmm. Blanad's good. Blanad sounds like a fucking mountain. It's like little flower, it's isn't it? Like flower. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Blahing. Like yeah, that was the thing. It was like, whenever I was in school, <clears throat> like I went to, like, a Catholic school in fucking Derry, and with the choices, I chose French, mm. but then never paid any attention to it, down in the languages. Mm. And then when I left school, and recently in the past, like, fucking, like, five, ten years, I've been like, God, I wish I could learn it. Like, I should get that Duolingo one, try and learn it for Duolingo or Loads something like that. Loads of people are doing yeah. the Duolingo yeah, now. Yeah, I should try and fucking learn it, like. Yeah. You, like, I used to do, I used to do the, yeah, I used to have a bit about it on stage, remember? Uh, when I was in America uh, for about four or five weeks. And oh, I used to, be, used to be all like, uh, he's all, can you speak Irish? And I go, yeah, of course. And I go, well, go. And he just talk gibberish. You know, yeah. like, I'd be all, Smith Chicago and Aunt August Deck and Kuruga Barrigan. And like, sorry, <laughs> take away. <laughs> 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 and we're at Oregon at Kanye West. And we're at Oregon at Pace and I stand off. Egg. 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 Kuruga Barrigan, Oregon, and in between every word. Egg. Kuruga Barrigan, Oregon. I might actually. Yeah. Kuruga Barrigan, Oregon, yeah. That's, that's how you. Yeah. And people go, my sorry. God, what does that mean? I was like, oh, I was just like talking about what I was watching TV. Like, because <laughs> 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 uh, that's the thing it's like it is with most languages sometimes you get that even like an Indian like you ever watch like, some Bollywood movies and stuff like Punjab movies mm-hmm. and, but they do a thing where they would throw in an English catchphrase 
Mm. Like they would be like going out. Da, 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 da. What the hell are you doing? Da, 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 yeah. Da. And you go up to the whole, f- not just one word, the whole phrase. Yeah. Is and you just wonder how it's in there. Yeah. Like wh- why that never got translated? Where did, yeah. they, where did they keep our asses? Like Englishisms. They might have even been quoting English people. Yeah. Like and because and, on the, I, the, the, but even like sometimes we're like well, obviously living in Derry as well, you'd have access to fucking like T G Cahar and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. And their Irish channels would be like that, where they would be doing like that. I think that Kira Arag and Burr and like Kanye West and Kira Arag PS and I stuff. I know, whenever you hear that. I actually think Irish has the opposite, like, problem to that, where they try and translate fucking everything. In the Irish? Where where they don't need to. Yeah. Like, why is the Irish for car, car, but with two R's? Yeah. What's the need for the the second R? Yeah. Yeah. What is the Nobody need? needs it. We're just like we're not gonna we're not copying your language, okay? It's like one of your copying your mates um homework, but you have to like, change yeah. a few words. Yeah, just make it different. <laughs> Do you know like, what I mean? Like, <laughs> you know like, make sure it's not exactly the same as mine. You like this is the Irish language, not fucking us the Scots. I know, I know, that's exactly what it is. I, I cracked that once before. Actually, I know. Yeah. I, was like, I remember Mickey Barla has a wee bit about that and stuff. Like everybody has a wee, a wee bit about Ulster Scots. A wee bit about Ulster Scots, yeah. Because it's right there. You'll say "Gee, ditch," or as they say in Ulster Scots, "Hello." <laughs> 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 I like to do that. Do you know what I mean? Uh, I've got one. It's an interesting word thing that I heard the other day. Oh. And when you said you want, uh, give me a shot yesterday, I was like, "Oh, I might use this. This will be interesting." You know the automatopoeia, mm-hmm. a word that sounds like how it sounds, like mm-hmm. bang, burp. Yes, the word that uh, means what ping, it sounds, bop. what it means. Um, bop. Exactly. Mm-hmm. Do you know the word cliche is not a manapea? Is it? Yeah, the word cliche is not a manapea, and apparently it came from like the fucking like 17, 1600 printing presses, right? And what it used to be is that whenever like they would set up the printing press, you know, the big, the big yeah. printing press ones. Whenever, cliche. whenever, whenever a <laughs> book was popular, or there was a huge run of a certain book. Because all the all the slates that they would use would be on the machine for so long that the sound that they thought that a press made whenever print, pressed, they thought it went cliche like a oh, uh, and it means something that's of common knowledge, it's something that's just so worn out, overused, overused, yeah. So they would go like all these because the books are so popular, these plates are being overused. They're cliche. Oh wow! And, cliche. and you, when you say it, you can hear it. Cliche. Cliche. Yeah. You know what I, mean? I heard that the other day, and I was like, <laughs> mind fucking yeah. blown. Yeah, word of podcast. I there you go, words. I absolutely love <sighs> those kind of little tidbits. That's amazing. Yeah. Those are wee things that, yeah, like, do you want to know that we? Mm. I actually heard a really interesting piece of. Um, information the other day. Well, it's this guy that I follow on TikTok. He's really interesting guy. He's this, he's from America, um, and he's a black fella, and he's like really good at speaking Irish. Like he started learning Irish, I think, on Duolingo, and he was talking Is about doing TikTok. No, yeah, he's on TikTok. Oh, the guy, it's like uh, like incredible energy. Yeah. It's like, kind of like, he's been doing some him. stand-up gigs. It probably yeah. is him. Yeah. There's, there's this one. Big and he, massive, like, southern accent, but all from, like, killing. Oh, no, no, I know oh, what you're no, talking no, about. Oh, yeah, yeah. This is a different one. That's a different guy, right. So he was talking about, like, in a jiffy. Where does that mm. come from, right? And Jeffer. Jeffer. You know, because he Jeffer. was saying about how, well, like, he, he looked hurt. into where the origin of the word was, where jiffy started becoming used, and it was around, say, um... It was around 1590, and around about that time, there was a huge influx of Irish people over to England. And so Irish people, rather than looking for the word, like, Jeffer, like, quick, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. John you know, Jeffer was like, be quick about it. Yeah, Jeffer. So they'd be like, quick, Jeffer. And in saying that, it's passed on to English people where they've just said, Jeffy, yeah. thinking that it's that, because yeah. Jeffy and a Jeffy means like quickly. More closely, like, translated the haste. So, like, when you say John Jeff, you're saying make haste. Make haste. Mm. Yeah. You know? I love that, that it's kind of... Yeah, you, do, you get a lot, a lot with, like, people always talking about, oh, oh, you'd be surprised how much French and Spanish and German and uh, Latin's in the English language. We don't really hear much about, like, how much Irish gets into the, into the, yeah. into the English language or yeah. how much it permeates in. I have. Did I, ta- did I talk it, about... It, like, there wasn't the word, like, the word queer, queer is... Um, was it a um, word from as in, um, was from Nor- Norway? What do you call them from Norway? I can never remember people's. I know who you're talking about. Um, 
Is he an actor? Is it an actor you're talking about? No, it's the it's one of it's like when all those people from Norway came over to like, Oh the Vikings. Like, the Vikings, that's it, yeah. And it's like queer is like one of the last remaining words from their language that's stuck on this. Oh Obviously, really? Like big and stuff like that. So that's a queer? Mm. Like explain what queer means. Like you would say something like if somebody went um like if you like if threw something really far, somebody go, Oh man, you threw that queer distance. Yes. You like know, a like, lot. Yeah, a lot, yeah. Like, yeah. Um which, which I was really fascinated by, but I don't think it's the, like might be the Vikings or something. I don't know if it's the Vikings. That's why I love this podcast. It's very interesting. Yes. I don't know people just sitting around talking shit all the time. I, I I absolutely mm. love it. I really really Such do. Such a fucking great hook. There. Just talking yeah. queer shit. Queer shit. All, yeah, all queer, the fucking time. A queer amount of shit. Like, do you want to hear the dirty word of the week? Oh fucking go for it! Yeah. Right. This is a doozy. Go for it. It's uh, it's just you've run out of you've run out of space. Ran out so, of space. Krem Krem ma st- I'm so dyslexic. Cremastophilia. Cremastophilia. Yep. Cremastophilia. Yep. Cremastophilia. Is it um, <laughs> you get turned on by the images of death and uh, like crematorium maybe something that like that actually sounds pretty cool but no no all right. close but no I got, cigar I got the last one it was the dudes that like the buck cars and fucking, oh yes that's right yeah yeah the mechanophilia was it mechanophilia or, or technophilia or something like that techno 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 techno, techno. yeah it's, this one um. is a paraphilia whereby sexual arousal <coughs> is obtained from being robbed from what? Yes. They fucking burgled. Yeah, like people have a kink where being robbed is what turns them on. So they might stage like role play or what have you. Um, like, <laughs> what are you thinking, Sean? I was thinking hoods are having an excuse now. They're just <laughs> all them grannies. It was a kink. Of us were asking for it. Yeah. yeah, I bet you they're just dying to, to grow up or to grow to be wee nannies. You see, that's interesting because simping, you're, you're more or less being robbed when you simp. You know those fucking like yoga bottom women on TikTok and stuff and OnlyFans and stuff that rinse lads out of money? But there's, oh. a, kink, but there's a kink where it's like, where women will go, oh, give me fucking, give me a hundred pounds. And the guy go okay, and he would simp for them, and he would transfer the money, and it's like oh. they get turned on by give like the her demanding things mm. off him. But that's but that's you, that's you, <laughs> that's a demand being made of it. But I suppose mm-hmm. I wonder if that kind of falls that probably in, does fall into it. It does fall in the same category, um, like this being sort of a, some people want to be ridiculed or yeah yeah like uh, humiliation kind of fucking kinks and stuff like that. Like, that would, like if you're getting robbed, it's a very it's a very um, disarming and humiliating thing. So yeah, we kind of fall into the same. I mean, there used to be. I used to work with a doll in. Uh, oh, I say doll. I stop saying doll. I used to work with a doll I in like um, in Lloyd's actually. Okay. Uh, when I used to work in a call center in Lloyd's, and she was like an online dominatrix. So she had that kind of thing. Where it was like she had Sims that would send her presents and stuff like that, and like she would just turn around, be like a guy online on like a live feed or something, or like a live uh, call, and go send me a grand. And the guy would go right, and he's like, I don't, I don't want a brand new iPad and an iPhone. And go okay, I can't. Like, but there's no sexual. And she's not getting. A, she's not getting any like nudity. She's not doing anything for him. It's just that's the relationship. Like right. And then, but then there's like where's she doing this now? I know that's the thing because I turn around and I'm because she's all and all you do is give them dogs abuse and then they throw you money. And I was like then. There needs to be a male equivalent to this, and then she it's around. called a husband. I know, I know. That was that was the reality that told me. And then she's like, "No, men price themselves out of it because you give it away for free." And I was just like, "Shit, Killing. oh man!" Um, but yeah, that's interesting. I've never heard of that. That's pretty cool. Yeah, I think like if it, if I had that kink, here's what I would do: show up in a dark alleyway wearing really, really like coveted garms. The clothes, big, big clo- handbag on you. The clothes like. that everybody, like say you had the <clears throat> the Gucci handbag, you know, the, mm. the brand new Jordans, everything else, so that they would rob you mm. until you were naked and you'd be like, oh my God, you've taken all my clothes. What else are you going to take? It's all got a fucking gold wristwatch on my arse or something like that. <laughs> <laughs> like, you know I mean? No, I'm only joking. I would never do that. Listen, that's, that's interesting. It's just saying that like, for that being a kink, there's a, there's a book I'm reading at the moment now, Nancy Friday's My Secret Garden. You ever read it? No. Very, very good book. Uh, about a woman in the 1970s that uh, was like took a book that she was writing to your publisher. <clears throat> and then she had a scene in it where a woman has a sexual fantasy in her mind. 
and her male uh, publisher went, that's ridiculous. Women, men, people don't want to read about women having fantasies. What, and what, and what, <laughs> what, what kind of fantasies do they want to hear about? Women? <laughs> like, women don't, women's fantasies are just the same as men's fantasies. So what Nancy Friday did was she collated hundreds and hundreds of thousands of like, I went to, like, no, I went, I went to accounts, just like uh, audio logs, interviews, letters of women going, these are my deepest, darkest fantasies and categor- like, categorize them all in their book. No and way. And some of the stuff women think about, that you probably know yourself, like, some of the shit women think about. What's the maddest one? We see that's the thing, is I always used to say, it was like, if, whenever you're having, if, when you're having sex with a woman, the minute she closes her eyes, that's some blockbuster shit going on behind oh, there. Oh, do you think like, so? Yeah, 100%. Like, you would subscribe to women's thoughts. <laughs> if you could fucking, like, I would simp for a woman's thoughts. Kind of like, it's all stuff like, like, being, being, uh, like, obviously I'm going to use the R word here, so obviously you can put a warning up in front of us, like, being raped by a pack of wolves. A wolf? Is that like what that. was in yeah, the book? Yeah, things in the books. Like, and these Fuck. women that come before going, this is the kind of stuff I have fancy. I've heard about. of dogging, but I mean, that's taking it yeah. in Like ones like, like, uh, like being split in half by a giant penis kind of things like that. It's, you should really check this book out. It's a fucking brilliant that book. doesn't I've, sound fun. Uh, it's, I've, it was like, uh, I've, uh, uh, I've, it was actually, it was a doll. The big was hurt. It was a doll. It was a doll. Try again. She hasn't given birth. She hasn't given birth. Um, so that's technically getting split well, in half. Well, the, the, there's stuff like that. There's like birthing fantasies and stuff like that. Yeah. Like, like birthing, birthing a person, then it would turn around and have sex with you, kind of thing. Like, oh, and there's and like and but one of the things that like blew my mind about the book about it was and falls into that was it how do you say creme? Oh, cremistostophilia. Cre- cremistostophilia. It's it's the c- consent, the removal of consent oh. in fantasies as well. Like there's one about well, the book actually opens with a woman telling a fantasy about being at a football match and just being in the stands and everybody's all rammed together and we're all kind of huddled together and then you're you're cheering on this man running up the fucking pitch to score a goal and as everybody's distracted by this and you're distracted by the goal, somebody comes up behind you, just drops your trousers and start having sex with you <laughs> without, without you without you wanting it kind of thing. It was like and that's the thing. It's like there's a lot of like the removal of consent. Yeah. Like, like I said, the categories. I mean, it's, it's not all is what it is, but there's yeah. a lot of other fantasies in there. But it blew your mind now. But I never got to that one. I don't think I've seen that I one. I bet you there is one that's like yeah. that. There's bound to be because the human mind can conceive of so many fucking mad things. Do you know what I mean? And you see, that's the thing. Mind. It's like men are so fucking base with it. Like, like men are yeah. like, we just close our eyes and just think of titties. Yeah. <laughs> you know, like, or we don't close our eyes at all. We just look at your tits. Look at titties <laughs> you know, like, and but, that's but, it. But, but women are fucking doing Herculean Acrobatics in their mind with the yeah, kind of stuff like they're that they're thinking about. Alaska retreat. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Like, women are like in traveling. Men are like, we just can't please you guys. Like, yeah. there's, there's no way because your your imaginations are far too fruitful. <laughs> hey, the women's like, why don't you morph into a pack of ravenous big penis wolves yeah. or something like that? It's and, like um, that. Um, what do you call it? Um, Uten, what's that? Um, it's a type of pornographic like cartoon. That. Hentai. There's hentai. That's what I know straight away what that is like. Yeah. Well, there's hent- hentai's there's more, hentai uh, hentai's and more there's, animated. Is it Utenami or something? Oh, are you thinking of... Um, that's what Jules Holland does foot, on the uh, Futenami. Futenami. But that's, but that's women with... That's giant women with penises. Is it? Yeah. Oh. F- Futenari, I think is what Futenari. it is. Futenari. Futenari. Futen- not that I would... You're not giggling not away not like you know too much <laughs> about <laughs> no, this. Yeah. Yeah, I'm just thinking it's like the I was. First I was. Thing the, that you said there. Nami. <laughs> yeah, it's it's not, yeah, it's Holland George Holland. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm only cotton on to that now. A George imagine, Holland's big hurt, Nami. I know. Imagine you got somebody the wrong DVD of that, like you know what I mean. <laughs> You said you wanted, was it Foot and Army? Foot and Army? Cartoon Jules Allen with a big massive song. Hey, Bring it in the new My year. good friend, Jose Feliciano. <laughs> <laughs> oh, good. <laughs> Everybody holding yeah. each other's willies. We, yeah. <laughs> we really went down some sort of Salvador mm. Dali fucking mind trip here. But yeah, that is that is very good. Salvador Dali. I'm very sorry that Fugnari. I didn't, didn't pick up on that because that was fucking hilarious. Oh. I'm gonna have to read. I'm gonna have to read though about like some actual like actual accounts of what people fantasize about. I want to read wrong. that book. What say it again for Na- me? Nancy Friday's uh, My Secret Garden. Nancy Friday. It was in a it was in a filthy, dirty book exchange program that I did with a girl I was going out with. Oh, I love and this. And it was like I lent her a book of. Uh, 
uh, 18th century uh, erotica. Yeah. Um, uh, but no, actually, write this one down. If the, the Romance of Lust. Right. You should check out the Romance of Lust. The Romance of Lust is like written from a male perspective, but it's like it's all like uh, I think it's like 17th, 18th century uh, erotica fiction kind of thing. But it's all it's it's all really weird kind of sounding. It's all stuff like. He's all, and I bed down upon it with one last thrust and threw my member a, a frothy, <laughs> it's all, a frothy gust of jism belly. It's, it's all, what is it? It's all, a frothy boss of balmy jism. <laughs> Uh, gust. Balmy? Balmy, I know balmy, it's amazing. And it was, and it was cause what it was, it was, he said, it was like a jet of balmy jism thrust it deep into her innards. And, and you're all, <laughs> it sounds like a dream. I know, and you're like, dude, innards? Like, what the fuck? It's like, Dalmer shit? Kind innards, of like, <laughs> yeah. Is there an ass out for? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this isn't just Teddy, Spub. Yeah, so this yeah, I recommend that. This is the thrust of balmy jism from the ball sack <laughs> of an artisanal monkey. Yeah, I know. <laughs> And it's all, it was all stuff like it's all like I I knelt before her mind of Venus, things like that. Ooh. The language is really really good and like it's it was supposed it's erotic and like you know what I mean. I love that because if you're interested in signing up for the Patreon, look at me, unashamedly begging for your money. Go over to the Patreon now because we're going to have a conversation that carries on from this because I have a list of interesting. Um, Phrases. Anyway, um, thank you so much for joining us on this episode. We've absolutely loved having. Yeah, it's been good shit, like Adam. <laughs> good shit. It's been good shit. This like. shit has been on fire. <laughs> um, this shit is on fire. Yeah. We need to do a wee like montage of, <laughs> of all the songs. All the songs that yeah. I have butchered throughout this so far. Yeah. But once again, thank you so much for watching. Really, really appreciate it. If you could like and share with your friends. Tell your granny was asking about it. <coughs> Tell her yeah. to watch this as well. Show her how to use YouTube, you know, and even show her Pornhub, you know, because grannies deserve it too. Cool. But, um, uh, do we plug as well? Yes, of course. Yeah, if you want to see more of me talking shite, uh, follow me on TikTok at, at @fairplaylad. You can also find me on Twitch at, at @fairplaylad, Twitter at, at @fairplaylad, and uh, Facebook uh, at Adam Lachlan. I didn't change the name on that one. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were going to go shape play, lad. Shape play, lad. <laughs> Before we go, can we get a, a one more rendition of My Lady's Pussy? Oh, yes. No, I swear it should. Go do it. It's, 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 it's just, I, it's, the, the last lyrics one I wrote myself, where it's the, the when it's out, it's like a race. Run me rounds at such a pace. <laughs> often finishes on my face. My, my girl's, girl's pussy. pussy. <laughs> 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 <laughs>